Imagine you spend £2,000 a year on electricity. What would you be willing to spend on solar and batteries to try and bring that down? And what would you expect in return? A year ago, Sam made a substantial investment into solar and one of the first power threes in the UK to try and fix that. But was it worth it? One year on, has Sam saved a fortune or should he have put his money in the stock market? Well, that's what we're here to find out. We've got a year's worth of hard data. And at the end, I'm gonna give you one simple tip that could save you maybe even an extra 100 pounds a year from your solar setup. So let me quickly talk you through the setup. And if you've seen our case study video series, Sam's Solar Journey, then you'll recognize this system. It's a series of 11 short videos that follow Sam's solar project from the initial system design through the technical survey and project management, and finally the install. The series shows the full process of getting solar designed and installed, and it highlights the key decisions that Sam had to make along the way. In summary, this system has 22 440 watt solar panels that are connected into a Tesla Powerwall 3. Because Sam has an electric car, the system is on the Intelligent Octopus Go tariff, which gives cheap overnight rates for charging the car and the Powerwall. It also gives a great export rate of about 15 pence per kilowatt hour. The house has used almost exactly 8,000 kilowatt hours of electricity in the past 365 days. The solar panels face almost perfectly west, and there's a bit of shading from this chimney. There are no optimizers or microinverters to combat the shading, just some clever design with the Powell 3's inverter string inputs, which have been set up to mitigate shade. You can check out the fourth video in the series where we modeled the shade from this chimney and decided that microinverters weren't cost effective to learn more about that. So are 22 solar panels and the Powell 3 enough to keep up with a house using 8,000 kilowatt hours a year? or was it all a waste of money? So to start with, how has the solar performed in year one? Well, when we designed the system, we estimated it would generate 7,320 kilowatt hours in year one. In reality, it's generated 7,430 kilowatt hours. That's 1% higher than predicted, which is great. It's interesting to see how the solar generation is actually split over the year. So some quick numbers, when we designed the system, we expected 9% of the annual generation to come in winter, but in reality, only 5% came in winter. Spring was forecast to generate 33% of the annual usage, but actually delivered 38%. In summer, we expected 40% of the annual generation to come, but actually summer produced 44%. And finally, autumn was predicted at 19%, but only generated 11%. Now this is typical for UK solar. Winters tend to underperform and summers overperform. We actually checked on the data on some of our 2011 installs last year and the trend is exactly the same. And in a video in a few weeks time, we're going back to upgrade a system that we installed 15 years ago. So we'll review the data there as well. So how does the battery fit into all this? And how much has Sam saved in the first year with the system? Well, the solar panels are connected into this Tesla Powell 3, which is a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery. The Powell's been configured to try and save the house as much money as possible, but with a 20% backup reserve left for a power cut. In the past year, this Powell has stopped nine power cuts. Nine times that the neighbors were sat in the dark lighting candles while Sam was making toast and watching television. The battery's doing two things. It's storing excess solar generation that isn't used in the house immediately, and it's charging up off peak to further reduce electricity bills when the solar isn't generating. So how did it all balance out? The house used 8,013 kilowatt hours in the past year. 40% of that came directly from the solar, but thanks to the Powell's clever tariff juggling, the solar and battery together supplied 56% of the house's needs. 21% came from solar used instantly, 19% came from solar stored in the battery, 16% came from off-peak grid charging, and the remaining 44% came from the grid at full price. Now you might expect higher self-sufficiency with a solar and battery system of this size, but here's the thing. This setup is designed to maximize savings, not to maximize independence. The Powerwall has two modes, self-consumption mode, which feeds as much solar into the house as possible, and time of use mode, which plays the tariff game, charging overnight at seven pence and exporting solar at 15 pence. 
So the headline figure. Without a solar and battery, this house would have spent around £2,040 on electricity in the past 365 days. With the system, the actual spend was £891. That's a saving of £1,149. But it gets better. Exporting spare solar to the grid earned Sam another £720. Add that in and the system delivered £1,869 in value in the very first year. Another way to look at that is that the net annual electricity bill went from £2,040 down to just £171. That's less than the cost of a year of Netflix. And as electricity prices increase, those savings will go up. So what's it like to live with a solar and battery system for a year? Is it hassle-free and are there any lifestyle changes required to get the most out of the system? Well, before I get onto that, I want to quickly say that if you're wondering how much a setup like this could save you, please feel free to give us a call or request a quote. And one of our technical specialists will be happy to prepare a completely free bespoke quotation that is tailored to your needs and maximizes the return that you're getting from your roof. We're a local family business that's been installing solar since 2010, and we do everything in-house. And if you're enjoying this video, please do subscribe to learn about all things solar and battery in the UK. So now here's the simple tip I promised at the start of the video. If you really want to squeeze every penny of savings out of solar, you can time your appliances to run when your panels are generating. In summer, that means running the washing machines, dishwashers and tumble dryers in the middle of the day. And then in winter, when the solar is weaker, shift them into the nighttime off-peak window instead. Plenty of our customers actually treat it like a game. How much can we run for free today? It's almost like a sport, and unlike most sports, everyone wins. So this system has now been running for a year, which also means that Tesla Power 3 has been in the UK for about a year. So how has the power performed, and have there been any issues with the system? Well, the good news is it's been almost flawless. Pretty much every Power 3 we've installed, including this one, has done exactly what it said on the tin from day one. There's been no fiddling, no endless maintenance, and no switch it off and on again moments. Once the tariffs are set up, it just quietly gets on with the job. And the only thing you might ever need is the occasional solar panel clean, maybe once every few years. There was one minor hiccup with this particular system about a month ago, in that Tesla issued a firmware update which didn't install properly in the battery. So the power wall did stop working for one day, at which point we sent an electrician out to reset the system and fix the issue, and it was back up and running again within an hour. That issue was a one-off connection issue, which is rare with Powerwall, and it won't happen again. So one year on, was it all worth it? Well, absolutely. Sam slashed his bills by nearly 90%, exported hundreds of pounds of clean electricity back to the grid, and has a future-proof system that will only get more valuable as electricity prices increase. If you've got solar and battery, let us know in the comments how much you're saving each year. And if you're interested in finding out what you could save, get in touch with Spirit Energy for a free quote. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this, because we've got 15 years of solar experience to share and plenty more case studies on the way.